We acknowledge that there was a mistake made, and we acknowledge we made a mistake. The president of Brandon University says now it will not happen again, admitting the university should never have tried to silence a student who came forward to report a sexual assault on campus. Categorically, we acknowledge it was not appropriate. While the university investigated her complaint, it asked her to sign this. Titled a behavioral contract, it insists she have no contact with the other student, but also insists she tell no one what happened other than a counselor. Breaching the contract could get her expelled. This is a mutual agreement, so you sign one, so he signs one, and I did. Sorry, there will be an opportunity to... Allie Cameron is the vice president of the Gender and Women's Studies Alliance on campus. Concerns have been raised in the past, and it's unfortunate that only when this has become public is the university retracting this um, contract. A CBC News investigation recently showed a similar attempt to silence a student at Brock University in southern Ontario. The student was told she had to stay quiet about an external investigator's report that concluded her professor tried to kiss and fondle her in his office. The university claimed it had to protect the professor's privacy rights under its employment contract. Shame on Rock! Shame on Rock! The revelation led to protests on campus and an open letter to the university's president from more than 70 angry staff and faculty insisting the university do more to support students who come forward. And at the University of Victoria, a similar story. A female student told she was under tight restrictions who she could tell about the findings of an investigation into her claim of assault. These are very disheartening uh, stories uh, to hear over and over, and we hear them far too often. We learn from errors, and we go forward with improvements. Brandon University says it will move forward by creating a sexual assault policy. It hopes to have it in place by September. In the meantime, though it acknowledges the student has technically breached the behavioral contract by speaking out, it says she will not be punished. Diana Swain, CBC News, Toronto.